Hello to 1000 PS fans, I'm here at the Intermod in Germany and now I have a home play, KTM, our famous orange brand, but next to me a German guy, not an Austrian, Thomas Kutuf, head of press and PR international, a worldwide famous guy. Great to have you here with me and Tom is going to tell me a lot about the new 1290 adventure models. R, S and T not so new. Tell us something about the new R and S. Yes. Servus, 1000 PS. Uh, good to meet you. Uh, here at our KTM oriented uh, introduction, we put a full spotlight on those adventure bikes because uh, we really want to show quite offensive our role our leading role in the adventure market and therefore we decided to take the existing technology from this 1290 Super Adventure which we really introduced uh, with a big effort uh, last year already to take this technology and extend it to all kind of riding usage. That means truly KTM means fully off-road capable so we dedicated this R model which is call it the beast of off-road. It's really sheer brutal fast fully capable off-road bike with 1300 cc and 160 horses full stop on the other hand the 1290 super adventure s that delivers i would say uh, the perfect successor of the 1190 adventure using the same sophisticated uh, technology but for sure more on asphalt oriented side so we have basically with this drivetrain we have we can we can cover the whole range in the top class of the uh, travel enduro bikes when you when you call it a beast it's easy to ride anyway well this is this is the i would say the, the really a stunning situation the bikes are getting faster they can deliver brutal brutal performance but on the other hand the way you can use the bikes due to the very sophisticated engine behavior and electronic assistance it's not scary at all this is the this is a fascinating aspect so you already mentioned uh, electronics, what about that? Yes, for sure. Uh, also in this generation uh, intended for 2017, we will find even uh, a more advanced electronic package. Means using absolutely latest status of um, braking assistance like cornering ABS, um, lean angle depending sensors on traction control. Uh, we invented uh, also a lot in to making a bike more user friendly from the operations that could be on a TFT display, could be those very, very big efforts to create uh, this LED headlight which also carries for the first time. This is the world first ever KTM with uh, this LED headlight where also the cornering lights are integrated into this main headlight. This is quite a story itself, I would say, big effort and big innovation. So. Yes, electronics getting more complex, uh, but in the KTM way of meaning they are not a showstopper, they are just delivering benefits. So if you have to um, um, describe in one sentence the differences between the S and the R model, what would you say? Quite easy question. R means hardcore off-road capable, yeah. fully off-road chassis, off-road wheel dimensions and that's really also unique and a big change. We operate the rear suspension through a PDS system. That means a direct connection between the shock and swing arm chassis, while on the S we are having more a common street oriented chassis with the linkage and the wheel dimensions you basically use with 17, 19 uh, inches, while on the off-road you need the longer suspension and a 20, 21 inch front wheel. And what about the prices? Talking about the prices, um, there are confirmed for this model of 1290 Super Adventure S we are facing a 16.5 uh, while the R model is a plus 500 euros which means it's basically uh, close and similar to the top model in terms of uh, um, equipment the 1290 Super Adventure T. Uh, good for all the not so rich people uh, who watch our videos there are two more models the 1090 models and we are talking about them in the next video stay tuned Thank you very much.